Last week in Washington, Samantha Power, the administrator of the U.S. Agency for International Development, or USAID for short, praised DIA, an app developed by the Ukrainian government with the support of her agency. The app allows people to connect with their governments. In Ukraine, for example, citizens use the app to report Russian soldiers in their midst and to pay their taxes. Power spoke about how her agency will help other countries use DIA. I am thrilled that USAID will be working with Colombia, with Kosovo, and with Zambia, for starters, to explore collaborations on everything from improving their current systems to developing new digital citizen services. USAID Assistant Administrator Aaron McKee said citizens of different U.S. partner countries will use different app features depending on their needs. Zambia may just want to have an e-passport, you know, so it makes it easier for citizens to travel. Or Kosovo may be looking at the government procurement system and looking at, I don't know, open bidding and using an app so that citizens understand what their tax dollars are going for. Valeria Iannan, deputy minister at Ukraine's Ministry of Digital Transformation, told VOA that one country, Estonia, is using the technology and that many more will likely follow. Estonia, the most digitally advanced country in Europe, which Ukraine learned a lot from, they are adapting our experience and have created an app based on our mobile app DIA. We are currently engaged in negotiations with 15 countries regarding the app. USAID says that DIA will help citizens more easily connect to their governments and that it has full faith in the app's safety. People's information is already in digital format, globally, including in the United States. What's critical is to compartmentalize and protect that information. So even if you are hacked, they can only get one piece or access to an element and aren't able to do as much damage, particularly to critical infrastructure and personal information. McKee also explained how, thanks to DIA, USAID can help Ukraine in various ways. So we are expanding both DIA, the accountability and, and transparency agenda, and helping accelerate EU accession, particularly in anti-corruption and reform. We also have invested heavily in the energy infrastructure, both to protect and get Ukraine through the winter. As of May 2023, some 19 million Ukrainians are using the DIA app. For Irina Matvichuk in Washington, NRIs. VOA News.